Hi everyone, I'm Brian Trafficanti, and this is episode two of Easy Growing. All right, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a little less known gardening season, winter gardening, where we take advantage of the cooler weather here in South Florida, and if you're in South Texas, Southwest US, or even coastal California, now is a really, really great time to start growing a garden because it's not oppressively hot outside. Uh, so if you're in the Northern US or Midwest, uh, the colder areas of the US, take this advice and use it for your spring garden. Uh, so let's go ahead and take you around to our garden, show you what we're growing. Right here we have Swiss chard. It's actually not doing too, too great right now. We had a bit of a heat wave a couple weeks ago and um, caused it to wilt a little bit. Hopefully it bounces back soon. We have some bell pepper, but really the main thing that we're growing that's really tough in the summer here because it gets too hot are our grape tomatoes. Uh, this is actually the blue cream variety. You see it has a bluish color to it. And these yellow ones are just about ready to pick now. Uh, reason we grow them now is that during the summer when we get up to the mid 90s and it's really just the sun is really intense it causes a lot of the plants to wilt and tomatoes to split and shrivel and things like that so it gets very very difficult so now that it's a little bit cooler about 80 degrees we can grow a whole bunch of tomatoes without issue uh, one of the other plants that we are growing is uh, our romaine. So this is a smaller romaine variety here. We companion plant it next to our tomatoes to give it a little extra shade. Like I was talking about earlier though, with the Swiss chard and the issue we had with the sun, you can see this plant right here. It's a little bit of burn on it. Hopefully it'll bounce back though as well. Um, typically in the summer, again, it gets just too, too hot for these plants to be able to uh, thrive. So now is an excellent time to get growing and uh, so if you're in South Florida if you're in South Texas Southwest US Coast California take advantage of this time now into January into February when it's finally a little bit cooler out and all your plants aren't going to have uh, burn and wilt and things like that because of the high temperatures take advantage of this time and start planting and growing and Midwest gardeners northern gardeners uh, cold area gardeners where it's not 80 degrees right now takes advice, start planning, getting ready for your spring garden. Uh, spring is an excellent time to start growing some of these a little bit more heat sensitive plants because in the summer, some of you still get too, too hot for them. So uh, get ready for that. Um, and um, that's about it. Hope you all enjoyed episode two of Easy Growing. Please uh, put your comments uh, below the video if you're watching on Facebook, on YouTube, in our email. We really, really want to hear what you have to say. We want to have your questions. We want to be able to build the show into something that's really, really useful for you. So please let us know what you think. Add your, add your questions, your comments. If you don't want to put it, put your question or comment below, go ahead and send it directly to me. Uh, my email is brian at gardeninminutes.com. That's brian with a Y. I'll put it below the video so you can take a look and uh, find it more easily. And uh, other than that, hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy gardening.